Restriction Enzymes In this module you will learn about Restriction Enzymes. Restriction Enzymes are enzymes that recognize specific sequences within the DNA and cut the DNA at the restriction site. Thus, they are also called molecular scissors. Werner Arbor, Hamilton Smith and Daniel Nathans were awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1978 for discovering the restriction enzymes. Recombinant DNA technology owes its development to the discovery of restriction enzymes. Restriction enzymes were first discovered when it was found that some bacteria have a defense mechanism and are able to prevent the multiplication of invading viruses or bacteriophages. These bacteria selectively cut or restrict the foreign DNA but not the self-DNA. The enzymes which cleave the foreign DNA were named restriction enzymes. Self-DNA is modified, methylated by the host's modification enzyme whereas the foreign DNA is unmethylated and so is cleaved by the restriction enzyme. Hundreds of restriction enzymes have been isolated and purified from different species of bacteria. Restriction enzymes belong to the group of enzymes called nucleases. Nucleases are enzymes that catalyze hydrolysis of the DNA. These may either be endonucleases or exonucleases. Endonucleases cut nucleotides within the DNA whereas exonucleases removes nucleotides from the ends of DNA. Restriction enzymes are endonucleases. After studying how type 1 and 3 recognizes the site, let us check the different step that type 2 uses. The type 2 restriction enzymes recognize and bind to a specific DNA sequence which may be 4 to 8 base pairs long and cut the sugar phosphate backbone of both the strands that make up the DNA double helix giving rise to fragments of specific sizes. Since type 2 restriction enzymes cut the DNA in a precise and reproducible manner, they are used for gene cloning. Type 2 restriction enzymes are used for gene cloning. That's interesting. Don't you think it should be covered in detail? Restriction site for the type 2 restriction enzyme have a twofold rotational symmetry, that is, it is palindromic. It treats the same in both strands of DNA, cred in 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Each restriction enzyme recognizes a particular restriction site, but different restriction enzymes recognize and cut the DNA at different restriction sites. However, some type 2 restriction enzymes recognize the same restriction site. Such enzymes are called isoschizomers. For instance, the restriction enzymes SST1 and SAC1 recognize the site GAG-CTC. Moving on the next series of restriction enzymes. These enzymes give rise to fragments with staggered or cohesive ends. Such fragments have single-stranded overhangs at both ends of each fragment. Eco R1 recognizes the site GAA TTC and cuts the DNA within the site between G and A on both the strands to give rise to two fragments with staggered ends. The single strand overhangs can base pair with each other or with other DNA fragments having complementary ends. The restriction enzymes that generate fragments with cohesive ends are useful in gene cloning. Thus, it can be said that restriction enzymes are used for isolation and cloning of specific DNA fragments and for the construction of restriction maps. A restriction map is a diagrammatic representation of a DNA molecule showing the restriction sites of the different restriction enzymes. In this module, you have learned Restriction enzymes are the molecular scissors that are a part of the restriction system in bacteria. Restriction enzymes are endonucleases. Restriction enzymes are named with specific reference to the bacteria from which they are isolated.
The first letter comes from the genus name and the next two letters from the species. The next alphabet indicates the strain used and lastly Roman numeral signifies the order of discovery of the enzyme. Restriction endonucleases are of three types. Type 1, Type 2 and Type 3. Types 1 and 3 cut the DNA outside the restriction site. Type 2 recognize a specific sequence which may be 4 to 8 base pairs long and cut the DNA within this site giving rise to fragments of specific sizes. It is used for gene cloning. Restriction site for the type 2 restriction enzyme has a two-fold rotational symmetry that is, it is palindromic. Some restriction enzymes cut both the strands of DNA at the opposing phosphodiester bonds to give rise to blunt end fragments. Some restriction enzymes give rise to fragments with staggered or cohesive ends.